Hello, Geminis. Hello, Geminis. How are you doing? Welcome to anyone who's new. Welcome to Deep Soul Tarot. My name is Kelly. Welcome back to anyone who is returning. And anyone who's part of the tribe, my soul tribe, what is up? What is up? All right. We're going to be doing a love reading, Geminis, for, uh, let's see now. It'll be um, October 18th through the 24th of 2020. All right. So this is a general read. So just, it may not resonate for all of you, so just take what resonates, you know, leave what doesn't. Uh, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, so if this doesn't resonate, you can check the other placements in your chart. Sometimes those resonate more, and even if this does resonate, sometimes you get more information that way. And when you're dealing with love, uh, check your Venus sign, because many times that can give you some uh, insight into your love situation. All right, Gemini, let's see what we got going here. All right. Page Cups, new love, possibly new love, maybe someone younger than you, if not younger than you, since someone with young energy, someone that kind of matches your energy, because Geminis, usually all the Geminis I've known, I've known quite a few, uh, have a very young energy, a very um, young way of thinking and just being, you know, um, free-spirited, free-minded. Um, all right, so I'm not sure, though, sometimes this card can sometimes be thinking about love. See how they, he's looking up, or this person's looking up, and, you know, that means um, kind of like their head's in the clouds about love. Oh, boy. Okay, I hope we don't run out of time, Gemini. Let's see. Let's see. Um, your energy? Queen of Swords. Mm. Well, you could be dealing with, particularly an Aquarius. I think the Queen of Swords is the Aquarius, or is that Libra? Yeesh, I don't know. Um, but you could be dealing with another air sign. So it could be a Libra, an Aquarius, possibly another Gemini. Uh, let's see what your person's energy is. Eight of Cups. Okay, I'm, I'm hearing something pretty specific here. Let me see. Nine of Cups. Okay. What I'm hearing, Gemini, you've dealt with somebody who was too immature. I mean, for a Gemini, that's, that's something to say that. But this person was just too immature. I mean... It's not that they have to be all serious, but it was just kind of like they were playing games. Maybe they were lying. That's what I'm hearing. I'm just hearing that something wasn't quite right, and you cut them out. You thought about it. You cut them out and just done. And that person just walked away. They didn't even fight. And you're like, see, I knew it. They weren't even invested in any of this. So you're, you're damn well happy with being single right now. Single and ready to mingle. Okay? Let's see if we can uh, clarify. And if you're not, if you're not involved with anybody, this may be a past love or whatever, but you're, I'm hearing that you're happy being single and, you know, just being out there and meeting people. Okay. Let me do this so we don't run out of freaking time. I'm working on it. Trying to get that laptop. They're out of stock and I'm waiting to try to order it. Ten of Cups. For you, Gemini. Your person, Queen of Pentacles. Your connection. Nine of, ooh, nine of Cups twice. That's happened in, in another reading that just, I just did. It's trippy when that happens. Two of Pentacles. So, it's up in the air. You're trying to decide now if you even want to get involved with somebody. Um, I just feel like you're just not on board with love right now. You'd like to have this, right? But you're just thinking, I, you know what? I'm not going to, I'm not going to take people that are not going to be on the up and up and be forthright and honest with me. Your person, however, um, Eight of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles. You know, I, I'm getting the, the impression that this person is like, if you, if you tell them straight up what you're thinking, they get bent out of shape. And they kind of go the high and mighty. Queen of Pentacles can be very loyal, uh, very patient. However... This person walking away, the Eight of Cups, so leaving this cup behind, leaving you behind, I'm, I'm hearing making a mistake, being a fool, I don't know. However, being a Gemini, being the Gemini that you are, with the two Nine of Cups, you, man, it's dark in here. Uh, I hope it's not dark in your end, but it's dark in my end. Uh, with the two Nine of Cups, you are just content with the way things are. You know what? You're like, you know what? Whatever. I'm going to, I'm good. I am good. I'm going to go out and meet people. Um, you know, there's the moon. Maybe you're going to meet a Pisces. <clears throat> um, I'm just hearing that you're good with the way things are. In spite of what happened, you're like, whatever, whatever's, you know. I'm not sure if that was clear, and I don't know if that resonated with anybody. 
<coughs> Gemini. Now, with the Page of Cups, you could have been dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You do have the Pisces card here, so it could very well be a Pisces. I don't want to run out of time, but that's what I have for you. I hope this made sense. If it resonated and you liked this, please give me a thumbs up. I do these weekly. So if this doesn't resonate with you, you know, join the tribe, hit that bell icon button, check next week. You know, get the notification, and maybe next week will be more appropriate to resonate more for you. And um, if this resonated, maybe you can get more information next week, okay? Comment, thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in, Gemini. I appreciate it. I hope you join me again. Peace out.